make it clear, Joe Biden and I were not buddies. We represented two different countries with different policies. He was a senator and I was a permanent representative to the United Nations. Uh, we had many civilized meetings uh, in which we disagreed, but with civility. Um, and I, I think that is the basis for uh, understanding. But uh, again, it's not, it's not the issue of who's in, in the White House. It's the, uh, the issue for us is what they do. If you look at the JCPOA, it's not just the signature that counts in the JCPOA, in the nuclear deal, but in fact, the impact of that signature, the effect of that signature. And we're, willing, we're waiting to see that. If, if they have, if they return to the deal with full effect, benefiting the Iranian people, knowing that their policy of maximum pressure has already failed, then we are willing to go back to the full terms of the deal. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the policy of unilateral sanctions is basically a policy of economic warfare, uh, or even worse, a policy of economic terrorism, because they target individuals who, uh, with the intention of changing policy. That is, they target individuals who put pressure on individuals uh, for the individuals to put pressure on their government. This never works. They need to change their approach. The carrot and stick approach is used for animals, not for human beings. And I think uh, the American middle class have to come to their senses to understand that this policy of carrot and stick does not work with human societies. It has always, always produced the unintended consequences, and it will continue to produce unintended consequences. The world has changed. We have a multitude of players. We have a transfer of the centers of power. We do not live in a Western-centered world. And they will have to come along, and they have to accept that reality. Now, they see China as an emerging power that is going to surpass the United States in terms of economic power. They see the presence of Russia in resolving major conflicts. It's not the United States that resolving the conflict in Syria. It's Russia, Iran, and Turkey that are resolving the conflict in Syria. It's not the United States that resolving the problem in Karabakh. It's again, Russia plus regional countries that are doing that. That realization, and also Europe. You heard what the Europeans said about Karabakh, and you heard what happened in Karabakh. So I think it's time for our neighbors to come back to the neighborhood. This neighborhood, all of us in the neighborhood, need security and stability in our neighborhood. Others don't necessarily need security and stability in our neighborhood. We have welcomed the Russian proposal for security arrangements in the Persian Gulf. We have made, as you said, our own hope initiative. So we have enough uh, groundwork for, for regional security. We only need to change the mindset. You cannot purchase security from outside. The United States can sell you a lot of arms, but it cannot sell you security.